welcome in YouTube to another deliberation video. I hope you're doing well and go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that sub button. Let's just dive right in. Dishonored uh, was a good game. Obviously, I got a lot of talented actors and actresses. This is from 2012. We did wind up putting a bunch of time into this game. We did both DLCs. Um, the main game I thought played pretty well even now like 2023 compared to 2012 this game played well the graphics obviously aren't as crisp as we're used to nowadays in 2023 but the combat's pretty good um overall it's a pretty good game it's a solid game i didn't like the witches dlc the knight of the knife of dunwall i liked better which is the first of the two DLCs. I like how they're connected though. The two DLCs are connected and it is connected to the main story a little bit. So it was, that was good. I thought it was, I thought it was well thought out. I thought the game was pretty good. I liked the powers. I liked the ability to blink around. Um, the possession thing was pretty cool in the main story. Um, I like that you can actually play this game after getting out of prison and not have to kill anyone. That is kind of cool that they put that in there. I obviously chose to do a very high chaos. Just go in there, kill everybody, murder everybody, play through. Um, we did get all the runes except for one in the main campaign. And then I was just like, I really didn't, I wasn't too bothered to find them in the DLC because it really didn't matter in my opinion. Uh, it was... Just something I guess they had done in the main story that they wanted to kind of pull forward. Uh, Dowd's abilities versus Corvo's, pretty much the same. Uh, the wrist thing, I mean, I really didn't use crossbows or the wrist, um, wrist shot thing. Rating, I would give it a solid 7 out of 10. Especially if you can get it in a bundle, right? And this is what I said throughout the whole playthrough. If you... And usually you can find the three Dishonoreds with all the DLCs. And usually it's tucked in there with like Prey. And maybe you can even get like Deathloop. And probably towards the end of the year, you're probably going to get Redfall. If you can get all those games for like, say like $50, $60, I think that's a really good value. I feel like people are going to put a lot of effort into this game when they do get it. Definitely replayability. Like I said, you can either play it very stealthy or very chaos <laughs> and just go around killing people. You can play it in the middle you, you, uh, too, if you wanted to. Uh, and you could just mess around with the different abilities. You cannot max out your abilities in one playthrough. So again, replayability was very well thought out in this one. I'm glad we played it. It was like, it was, it wasn't, I thought it was just enough content. Um, I think the witches thing uh, DLC was probably a little too much at the end. Uh, a lot of running back and forth to find this and that. Uh, at that point, I really wasn't bothered too much with it. I just kind of wanted to see how it ended. Um, and it was pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, again, 7 out of 10. Some of the things were a little... Uh, sometimes the movement was a little off. Uh, again, but it was from 2012. I thought it played pretty well. I thought it translated pretty well to today. 7 out of 10. I hope uh, y'all give it a try, try if it's on your mind. Even with the holidays possibly coming up. Obviously in like 5 months. Maybe by that time the game will be on sale. Again in a bundle. And you can go, give it a go over the holidays. Could be good. So go ahead and give this one a like. And if you're new to the channel, hit that sub button. Look out for more. We're going to be doing Dishonored 2. We're going to be just doing Dishonored Death of an Outsider. We'll do both of those. If there's DLC, we'll probably do that. Um, and like I said, right after that, we're going to go into um, Diablo 4. Uh, I've been really looking forward to trying that out. I'm hoping, hoping my encoder holds up for that one. So... We'll talk later, YouTube. Stay safe. Stay, stay awesome. Bye-bye.